see. Tree is intact. Not a single fallen ornament. <gasps> Girl, purpose. Anyway, it's Tuesday, it's a live stream day. I'm gonna be doing an art stream. I'm gonna be working on the YouTube Artist Collective piece, at least starting it, and then I can work on it more in tomorrow's stream, the Adobe stream. And I wanna be done at kind of a decent stream time so I can film my blindfold Pokemon video tonight because I wanna do that today. I was debating doing it before the stream and then I was like, ah, let's just do it after because that way the stream's not too late. Plus it's gonna smear, the blindfold's gonna smear my makeup so might as well wait on that. I'm just gonna get some food though because I have not had breakfast yet. It's almost one o'clock and I'm gonna have my breakfast slash lunch. Help me! I can handle cellar spiders, but ones like this that are just so thick and dark, oh my god. Oh, you're so creepy. Baby, help me! Look, Kiki. Do you see the bug? I'm gonna end up dropping Kiki if that spider drops. What is he doing? Look at him. Get him. Get him, Kiki, get him. Here, let me knock him down. He's just a little guy, but he's still ugly. <laughs> Go get him. Oh, a snack for the baby. Okay, the camera's precariously perched. Hopefully it doesn't fall. <laughs> Um, I've officially started my live stream, kind of sketching out the basic idea for my picture. And I was like, I need my drink, so I'm coming up here to make a drink. Oh, there's already water in here. Oh, well, let's get fresh water. I have Christmas music going downstairs because now that I've decorated, I'm all like, yeah, Christmas. But I just want to hang out up here by the, all the decorations, you know? Like, we have the one little tree downstairs, but I can't see that when I'm in my art room. And I do have one string of lights in my art room, but I haven't set them up because I don't really know where I want to put them. But that way I can just switch on the Christmas lights while I'm doing stuff to make it, you know, feel a bit Christmassy down in my art room. Because I find the lights so relaxing. It's why I love Christmas so much, it's just the decorations and the lights, because the lights are so soothing and lovely and awesome. So, yeah. Let's see, let's go with Merida today. Do -do -do -do. I'm gonna have some of the French vanilla from Tim Hortons. Hi, Mikey. Okay. Oops, the camera's still in there. Baby, why? She's like, don't pay attention to this baby, pay attention to this baby. <laughs> you know, just the usual stream here. Kiki's picking out colors for me. She's picked out black so far. And the slot she's reaching into just has more blacks and the colorless blender, so, you know. Free marker challenge, black, black, and clear. We can draw Kiki with that. Oh, thanks, baby. I'm gonna put these back now, okay? No offense, Kiki, but I'm gonna put these back, okay? No, mommy, keep them out. So it's currently 5.30. I've been streaming for two hours and 38 minutes. Hmm. It feels like it's been longer than that. Anyway, here's progress on this. I'm working on the border and I have half of it, well, more than half technically, but I have about half of it left, so then once, that done, once that's done, I can trace it onto my other paper. I think I'm just gonna do cardstock again like I did for Mr. Bun Bun. I'm gonna kinda use the same techniques, like go in with marker and then add pencil where needed and white gouache. And so, that's the plan anyways. Also, I've ordered some pizza, cause like that's my struggle when I stream, I'm like, I don't have time to cook anything and we don't have any instant type of meals here. And so I'm like, you know what, let's just order in pizza. So I got this meal thing, it comes with some pizza, Caesar salad, and these little like meaty bites, whatever. Anyway, so that should be coming in like 15 or so minutes, whoop, <laughs> maybe a bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I'm not gonna bother 
trying to stop my stream at a certain time because I was thinking, okay, I want to be done by a certain time so I can film my Pokemon video, but I don't need to film that today. And so I'm like, well, if I'm on a roll with this, then I just want to keep on with this because the ideal situation would be that I'd be just about done it by the end of the Adobe stream tomorrow. That way I don't have to spend too much time tomorrow finishing it up, but I need to have enough left behind that I can fill a four hour Adobe stream. So it's kind of like, it's hard to gauge that but yeah i think i'm just going to kind of focus on the stream and on this art for tonight and then if i don't get around to filming the pokemon one then i don't i can either do it tomorrow or thursday and then have it up for friday so there's no strict schedule this week just kind of going with the flow it's kind of weird though when you witness stuff either on a live stream or on someone's social media then you see the vlog the next day because it already feels old you're like, wait, didn't this already happen? Oh yeah, the vlog's not live. This happened yesterday. <laughs> so it's kind of a weird feeling. Future. Yeah. <laughs> so the food is here. Look at this though. Look at this sauce. No, that's too much. Shake it off. Just shake it off, guys. Okay, it's quarter to nine. I was having a good time, but I just had to end the stream because I got to do some prep for the Adobe stream tomorrow morning, get to bed at a good time, also edit this vlog tonight, so. Anyway, before I show you my progress on the art, I just wanted to talk about our little chat adventures towards the end. It got a little interesting. I was coming up with all these dark conspiracy theories surrounding different Christmas songs that would come on, um, like the I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. I was like, that song's really, written by this racist and like no one knows it but then everyone's singing it is like not realizing that they're singing a racist song I don't know <laughs> and then there was the silent night one which I said was about a pedophile and then there were other theories like someone asked why uh, why Rudolph's nose is red and I said that Santa hits children oh no because before that we were talking about how all the angels are dead children and so when someone asked why Rudolph's nose is red I was saying it's because Santa runs over these kids with his sleigh and since Rudolph's in the front he like gets the brunt force of it and his nose gets blood on it but he's also like sniffing the kids to see if they're okay like see if they're still alive and like gets blood on his nose and then I said that explains why kids get coal for Christmas because it was the song oh yeah the song like he, he sees you when you're sleeping blah, blah blah and I was like yeah that's why Santa gives some kids coal it's like a warning like you better smarten up or else you're gonna be fully on the naughty list and you're gonna get run over by a sleigh. So like, smarten up, you're gonna die. And the coal that he gives the kids is like, the children who died, it's them burnt to a crisp. Cause Santa has to dispose of the bodies, so he burns them and then gives their burnt bodies as lumps of coal to bad kids. Stuff like that. That, that, that That's how our stream was going. Oh, and stuff about the song Silver Bells. <laughs> I said was about Santa's balls. Yeah, it got a little interesting. Anyway, here's the art. So this was the initial sketch. I was trying to go for like an off-centered thing, but it just felt too off-centered. So in Photoshop, I tweaked it so that she is centered. Like I just slid the whole thing over. So the fox is a little more to the side and she's centered and yeah and I kind of filled in some of the gap that resulted from that moving of it. I can't words. And then I traced that onto some cardstock, and that's the last thing I did. Just kind of quick rough lines. They're not pretty, there's no line weight to them. It's kind of just some initial lines to get down and I can fix it up as I color, that kind of thing. Same with like the fur lines. They're not really pretty, it's just there to show me where the fur is gonna be. And once I'm actually coloring, it can do the hairs so there's that this was also me planning colors this was before I centered them but I'm gonna go with this but the background right here is not gonna be this dark I'm actually gonna use a slightly lighter color like this one because right now it just feels like there's a hole in the picture or like this is a wreath around them and then there's like a wall I don't know it, it's weird it feels like there's just a hole in it and so if I go with a bit of a lighter color the background will be its own color I didn't even end up using these other two <laughs> and for this one as soon as I did the dark I was like no I don't want dark hair I thought that might be cool to contrast with her but 
um, I decided I wanted a darker background instead. So it's going to be lots of purples and blues on the cool side. No pinky purples and like periwinkles. Yeah, purple, blue, periwinkle. This is not going to be as dark. Also, I realized I didn't like it that dark. So that's going to be lightened a bit. So that is what got done in today's stream. Anyway, I got to end the vlog here so I can edit. Hopefully I have enough footage. Hopefully it's not a really short vlog. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.